Stop stream, we're back. <laughs> Hi, Chad. Sorry about that. We're back. You, uh, oh my god, Jay. Uh, Cloud's here. Hey. Okay, it was just I for a few seconds. Screen. I broke oh. the stream. My appearance broke the stream. You're good. Yeah. No, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, uh, are we gonna talk about that, Apollo? <laughs> uh, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Do you know about that? He told me about it. Not the details. I thought my whole life was glitching. No, I mean, chat, that'll happen. But... Yeah. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. It was like Lawyer 9-11. But people don't like it when I call it that. Oh. Uh. Damn. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get a chance. Daddy, right. That reminds me about Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. I can... Why am I even here? He's in the hospital. Oh, God damn it! You... Uh, damn Again. It. A hospital? This better not become a theme. Yeah, he's on a strict... Re he's on a strict bed rest until he gets better. What? Uh, okay. Uh, which hospital's Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the... Hiku, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right. Well, uh, I'll be going now. And I'll uh, give this showbiz gig some thought, okay? No. Wait, I'll go with you. Please, no. Please, Stop yes. putting the what? fists up. No, one, no one's asking your opinion, Apollo. <laughs> I wasn't asking. <laughs> Real quick. So, this is Mr. Wright's Hospital. Well, oh, oh. oh my god, you're still here? He's still alive. Oh god. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to ask. <laughs> well, I'll take I'm, this guy. I'm a little too silly right yeah. now. I've been pure. <laughs> <pushed. laughs> uh, yeah, are you the doctor? Hey, <laughs> Dr. Hickfield's the name. <laughs> I had to change my name after some litigation at my previous clinic. I didn't need to know that. Good morning, Doctor. Yeah, hang in there, Clucy. I don't... <laughs> I don't like Can you stay away from me? Is this a daddy's room? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Doctor's gone for a morning checkup. Back soon. How are you, Mrs. Clucy? Oh, God. Nope, not no, not that. No, no. <laughs> Doctor? I'm going to kill you. The nurse was looking for you. Life, it's just your daddy on the cutest little thing in town. Guess I'll be up then. <laughs> wow, that guy was terrible. <laughs> what an awful character. You gotta be seeing a lot more of him. Morning. Didn't expect to see you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright. Man, even scruffy and disheveled, you look so cool. Uh, that's not cool. He's kinda hot though. Uh, no, I was gonna disagree, but... So, what <laughs> happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, victim of a hit and run. A hit and... You were hit by a car? Oh, well, he tried to swerve, I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air, only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole. You know when, like, your Jeez. friend runs you over in GTA and you slam into something and you do the funny ragdoll? It was like that. Is he watching the... Yeah, maybe. Is he watching a steel samurai? He might be. You hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Thankfully, Surely not. I have taken far worse injuries to my head. My only injury was a sprained ankle. Fucking how? Yes. Wait, that's what the fuck are you made of? Pure titanium. Pure, pure lawyer power. <laughs> yes, You're believing. About Trucy, there's something that doesn't sit right about Trucy. See, I was doing the math in my head. And you got from a daughter, that? Mr. Wright. I uh, didn't know you uh, uh I didn't know you got around Daddy. town like that. I didn't know you really <laughs> considered women. What? <laughs> and he she's so she's so big. I mean, like age-wise. Oh, hey. Trucy's still a child. Daddy, how many times I have to remind you? 
I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> you always be daddy little baby girl to me, Trucy. And also, you're very short. Ah ha ha, my you. foot. I'm not buying it. Not even for my foot. Fuck you, dad. What? Sorry, ever since Maya left, I haven't had someone to make fun of for being short. Oops. Fuck you, Jay. Right? She fooled me. Not a mere stage magician. She's a genius. She's a wizard, Apollo. What? <laughs> oh, daddy. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. Would you just tell me things instead of insinuating them? Oh, I'll be finished. Literally the entire last case, this motherfucker would not give a straight answer to Apollo. And he's already <laughs> sick of it. <laughs> I could, but that's less funny. So, why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? I need to get prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. You didn't come into the office of your own free will, anyway. I feel like I made it clear I misunderstood the situation. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Uh, no, <laughs> please. Paula deserves it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Help! We're in big trouble here at the office. Big! I thought someone was dying. So you don't think this is big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people. One of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy. How are we going to pay this month's rent and the groceries? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symbiotic relationship. One of us falls, the other two must fall. Hey, this isn't exactly a, a suitable conversation to have with a 15-year-old. In any case, Listen, Apollo here can't help you. They'll have to transfer to a new school. Again. Just apply for food stamps. You're a single dad with a daughter. Okay, no, this, yeah. is, this is like Japan, California. It's both the worst oh. parts of Japan and California. I see. And also, at least Phoenix tries to be a good father for Trucy. <laughs> Unlike real life dads, you know. <laughs> no, I can't. I only just my friend. I feel like I'm being guilt tripped. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do this to me? To us? Bully. Okay, hate that. Huh? What? Now it's my fault. Also, Polly? Yeah. On that note, how about you come work for us? Oh, fucking hell. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. I've got the perfect client for you already lined up. How? Already? A, a client? I mean, I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? The last time that happened, I got my boss convicted of murder. <laughs> Alright, I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, Daddy! Look! Lay! A psych stinker! <laughs> now it's time to reel him in. Special! I'm scared! <laughs> I love Apollo! He's so relatable! Right. Uh, look at my lawyer, I'm going straight to jail. Look at my lawyer, dog! <laughs> Alright, so who's the client? Ah, yes, here. Take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night, I left the office just before 9 o'clock. I was going to that... That... What? That's not a word, Phoenix. That Indochine no. pus joint, Alden Tay, Alden Ties. I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. He's so casual. <laughs> the car sent me flying, nicked into a telephone bowl, and zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. Dad, you almost hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. Cars went off in this direction. So, good luck. Ha! Ah. You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find the guy who knocked in me into that telephone pole. What? Hold on. I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. I was about to say it. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll get used to it, Apollo. I went through this shit, and yeah. so will you. Trust me. Knowing how the cases go in this country, you might as well learn to be both. Don't worry. Once you found the guy, I intend to sue him. Then you can stick it to him in court. Again, that sounds like a prosecutor job. I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Who gets all worked up? It's just a joke. Huh? Oh, Daddy. Sorry, Apollo. He'll just love jokes, you know? Is that what he's calling them? 
Even the ones that aren't funny. Very funny. Real clients should be stopping by the office any time now. The office? Do you mean the talent agency? I'm going. It's not like I have anything else to go to do. One more thing. Uh, do look into my accident too, would you? I marked the scene of the tragedy on this map. Tragedy? It's right in front of this park. Easy to find. So he's gonna make me investigate this after all. Map added to court record. Okay, well. Just, uh, let's do some examination. I'm very curious about the TV in the dead. Toy piano? What is it? Is he training to play the piano? This looks like a child's toy piano. Gotta practice. Wouldn't want my fingers to get stiff. Bro always keeps his weapon close at hand. The shell I play you into. Ah, uh, no thanks. Ah, uh, how play? I so rarely get a chance to play. That's just grape juice, don't worry, it's not wine. Yeah, well actually, that's exactly what happened in the last case. They just called it grape <laughs> juice. Uh. A swing, spiraling stack of DVD cases. Steel Samurai, the Nickel Samurai, the Pink Princess, the Zappy Samurai, Electric Bug of Boo. They're all children's action hero shows. This kid I know keeps sending them to me. Oh. Uh, like a niece or nephew? Something like that. Like the collection. This kid's parents must be really generous with their allowance. She like, does like her parents. Mr. Wright doesn't seem like the type kids would like. Oh. Apollo, you're... Dick. <laughs> I mean, you know, Maya, Maya and Phoenix are in a unique situation. <laughs> ah! Daddy, you snuck some grape juice in again? That is the doctor juice. said you weren't supposed to drink that here! Lucy, look at the label. Oh! Deep sea mineral water. That's fine, I guess. Why is there a grape? I switched the labels. Don't tell Trucy, okay? And I say, the man loves his grape juice. Phoenix Wright is an alcoholic. Damn. Uh, Phoenix, I can't believe... I mean, after I some of the shit that's it. happened to him, I can't say I blame him. Yep, well, yeah, right, I guess so. Is that on TV? It's like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know that one! That's a sniffing sound! <laughs> Close, Trucy. Oh no, she's... Kid Booger Flick Attack is a big hit with the great cool crowd. I had no idea you liked this kind of stuff, Mr. Wright. Oh, well, what else is there to do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know? Uh, yeah. Try not buying them. That was the only time I get to watch and write up my reports. Her reports? It's a long story. Like a lot of things, actually. <laughs> that feels relevant. <laughs> Uh, what else? Bed. Um, is that spider lilies? Yeah. The I'm like, hold on, I'm getting flashbacks. Yeah, hold on, wait, aren't spider lilies... What are the, what do those represent? Mm. Death? Ah, oh, fuck. Who... Uh, the, uh, um, right Phoenix? Bed. Really messy. Look how messy this is! Yeah, I was just thinking that. You're just hopeless without me, aren't you, daddy? to clean up, look out! <laughs> you got me. What can I say? I was raised in a barn. Try to let the word get out of follow if you don't mind. Yeah, it might ruin your illustrious career pretending to play the piano. Oh my god. Well, Apollo's got some sass. Alright, uh, we, we should probably head to, uh, Apollo Agency. Yep. 5 a.m. Red Challenge. Bad Albert! <laughs> Hey! Hey, hey, hey! How long are you planning on making me wait, eh? Ah, oh, good morning! I don't know who this is. I've never played the Apollo. Oh, my. Hey, <laughs> you die. Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? All's well, and that's well, I guess. Dad got hit by a car! It's gonna be <laughs> is, fine! Is there a client? Hey, so this is that Apollo fella, eh? At least he's not a grotesque racial stereotype like the last one. Oh, uh, that name's Apollo. Maybe I should say that out loud. 
Look at I'm there. Arms all crossed, like, ready to fight. Why does everyone in this office want to fight me? Because it looks very punchable. Yes, sir. <laughs> you don't mean that literally, do you? Because this girl's set a dangerous precedent. What did you say? I uh, must told you what I need, right? Don't let me down now, Apollo. Don't worry about your defense, sir. I'm on it. Defense? Oh, no. Oh. Your noodle half cooked? It's too late for defense. Oh no! My castle's been stormed, my keep's been kept, my noodle stand's been stolen. I am not a fucking detective! Noodle? Noodle doodle. You know, my little Eldon, from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? This fucking noodle backwards! <laughs> I didn't even try! Eldon! Okay! Yep. Okay. No nicknames, please. And no, of course I don't know them. You new in these parts? Yes! I mean, not really. I lied. I do that sometimes. <laughs> then you know the best noodles in town. Who <laughs> owns noodles? Eh, that's a... What is it when it's the word say word backwards? I'll work about it. Uh, uh whose noodles? My noodles, er... Help me out here, Trusty Doll. This is Mr. Guy Eldon, our client. My name's Maybe. Guy. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us what's the problem, Mr. Eldon? Nope. Um, that wasn't Anything necessary. For you, Trusty Doll. Uh, you wanna maybe explain the fucking harmonica? Nope. <laughs> okay. Who's this guy? So. From the noodle stand, Mr. Eldon. You guys, Eldon, the name. And noodles are my game. The secret in the soup? I've been searching for the perfect soup for years and a half. A year now. Oh, that's not that long, really. My family's been noodle men for generations. Got a lot of expectations on my shoulders. Fifteen fathers passing the noodles to fifteen sons. Damn! That must that's be a, a really lot. old noodle. That's a pretty old one. Too sad. Not on the same wavelength as Trucy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I, and the fool that I was, I was pushed. I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked another livelihood. Um, uh, you look like you're still pretty into noodles. But that didn't turn out so well. Oh. There was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy. You might want to get that checked out. <laughs> so, it was like destiny that you became what you are? Right. Destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. <laughs> but in the name, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Uh, so, like, what are you accused of? <laughs> and a mental image I care to linger on. So, last year, I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of Elon's noodles. Hey, well, let's, let's talk it out, I guess. Um, so tell me more about Eldon's noodles. You don't know the genus? <laughs> genius that's my noodles? That aren't my noodles. I make them so salty, why they're saltier than salt. That sounds like a health hazard. I really don't want to find out. That is a regular in his noodle stand. His blood sodium content is fucked! It's a, it's a miracle that Phoenix is still alive. He frequented my pops' stand back during his attorney days, too. Yep, him and his associate. Our assistant. I'm sorry, I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. Wish you could, Sonny. Eh? Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a bowl about now. I mean, you got one on your head. That's what my do you hair. mean? Oh, oh. Wait, that's your hair. It was stolen. My stand, gone. Stolen? Like, the whole thing? Damn like, right. Yeah. It was last night. I was doing my round, blowing my whistle. That is a harmonica, sir. Apollo, don't disturb him. <laughs> it's like an ice cream truck bell, but, but louder. He even gets complaints. That's... 
I feel like that shouldn't be said with as much of a smile, Trucy. <laughs> now you're just trying to butter me up. I think that's a bad thing. Yeah, that sounded more like the blues than a whistle. Closed up my stand for the night and parked by the house. Then, this morning, dark and early, it was gone. My keep. My castle. Ooh. Oh. I was blowing. Huh. Do you not, like, block it? You still bone carded it off? Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that, that, without that stand, I'm finished. Is he eating his own hair? I guess it's not hair at all. All my noodle bowl, bowls were in there, too. This is the saddest thing I've ever heard all day. Your dad got hit by a car. You know it, anyhow. That's the deal. Good luck. This- oh. Uh, huh, wait. What exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. I am I'm not, not a, detective. a fucking detective! And the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. I am a defense attorney! Don't of course, you I make them hot and salty. Two bulls kill a man that I really need a defense. That is a health violation, sir. Come on, Polly, don't you want free noodles? Of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. Thank you, Polly. Oh, that's me. This is where I live. You drop by if you need any info, okay? Okay, I need to know who the hell, who do you think is talking? I am a defense attorney. <laughs> Stop playing your harmonica over me! Polly, stop it! Get it back today if you can, Paulo. I got nudes to make. I nudes to make. am a defense! These are certainly taking a turn for the bizarre. Graphic evidence, accidents, noodle sand themes, and no clear obvious reason why I should give a shit. Um, um, I'm actually... They <laughs> should cut the hands up. <laughs> um, there was something I wanted to ask you about too, Apollo. <laughs> Calm down. Ah, I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, listen to the lady's problems now. Don't be cruel. I, uh, I'm peer pressure. I lost something. I lost something last night. There is something was stolen. I am going bite a cinder block in half. <laughs> hey, what's this? More thieving and scully burgan? Whatever. Well, um, someone stole a pair of my oh, paintings. Oh, fucking. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, Japan, why are you like this? I'm... Oh, <laughs> this game was so good! I really hope it's not something I'm thinking about. In fact, I really don't want to think about it. Uh, this game was doing so well! Come on! <laughs> Okay, calm down. Maybe it's not as bad as we think it is. Uh... Press the button. <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> uh, I'm not even reading this. <laughs> right, yeah. That's a cry of shame, that is. This whole fucking plot yeah. thread is. I feel like we had a really solid case. Not anymore. No, no, no. I was alone in the office last night. I had Han, like, um, the way down there to try. Then the thief came and looked at my favorite panties. I ran after him. He goes back, I shouted, wait! Hey, what about the dog in the flashback? No one cares about the dog! I care, I would like to hear about the dog much more than the rest of this case. No, no. one cares about your feelings, Apollo! Oh, that was certainly Something. brave of you. But I lost him. Without those pages, I don't know what I'll do. I... Uh... I don't cry in shame, yep. You know... I, uh... Why am I still here? I think I'm gonna go home. I think I'm done. No, you're not going anywhere, Apollo. You gotta help me, detective. I am you're not a totally detective! <laughs> Please, detective, well, find my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it on your map. Uh, I'll be heading home now. I think I will too. No, you won't. Remember, find my stand or there's an empty bowl in your future, Paulo. I can live with that. Uh, right. And you have our Trucy doll here too, you hear? 
Uh, Thank you, mister. I don't know these people. Things have certainly picked up, have they? Yeah, the case has rapidly declined, declined in quality. <laughs> well, it's not the circus case, Apollo. We had no well, this yesterday. is how circus cases start, Trucy. <laughs> we had no work yesterday, and now we have three cases. You are saying we a lot. Are you speaking French? I did we. not agree to any of this shit. I guess. Let's see where we stand. All right, I'm getting too raspy. I have to lean more to Sonic. <laughs> oh, come on. Not the courtroom. That's where I am. Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, the first time on our list. Phoenix right. That is hit and run accident. We have to find the one who hit him. Who's gonna pay us for this again? And the second item? Oh, no, that's fine. It's coming out. <laughs> the Eldon's request to find his stolen stand. For which we stand to gain a bowl of salty noodles. And the last request is mine. Yes, the one that has single-handedly taken this case. Yeah, we have to find my stolen item. Bowl of noodles is looking better and better. <laughs> Let's go, Polly, to the streets. So I'm just stuck with that name now. <laughs> yes. Aren't you yep. enthusiastic? How could it not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me. Uh, I guess we might as well get started. Hit and see. Hit and run. Stolen stand. And the rest. <laughs> Let's do some investigating. Doodles. Whoa! That fork is floating! Nah. Why do you have a plate of plastic spaghetti here? That's right here is the whole reason I became a magician. Spaghetti? Uh, do tell. I saw a play just like that in the restaurant once. The floating fork looked so real. That's when I knew. Someday, I'll make magic more amazing than that spaghetti. Okay. That's one more of a dream. <laughs> just gonna move on from that. I'm a magician papyrus, you see, Polly. Why you got a C4 down there? What's a <laughs> mysterious package? It's one of those hula hoop things everyone was crazy about way back when. Uh, we did not really? click the loop. <laughs> that is, yeah, that was not my selection. Really? I had no idea these were so popular. Damn, you're so old, Apollo! Hey! <laughs> I'm not so bad at myself, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm studying. I'm still learning. So you can really make some levity with it? Show me! Oh, I've misread the situation. Um, huh? I have no idea how. It's just a normal hula hoop, isn't it? I just have excellent hip control. <laughs> Come on, throw it back, Apollo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. Damn. All sorts of strange paraphernalia sitting on top of the piano. Those are my magic props. Practice, practice, practice. Why do you just have a small guillotine? Don't worry. You wanna find out, Apollo? You, you take your hand and you put it. You know what? Never mind. Oh, I was thinking about like at home circumcision. Oh. Oh. <laughs> just, just fucking winced in my chair. <laughs> Professional well, never leaves their gone. weapons far from reach. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't play the piano with all this junk on it. Oh, no one plays here anyway, and the neighbors complain. I guess Mr. Wright really can't play. That's a trophy for. A strange split box leers at me from the wall. We didn't click on that. Uh, is this one of those boxes for cutting people in half? That's right. This cabinet is used for an illusion called the zigzag. I've seen one on TV, but why is one just sitting here in your office? Oh, it's a little big for me, you see. So I'm just using these in a few in a piece of furniture. Heads in the top, shoulders in the middle, and pants down below. I think it's a nice touch, don't you? It's not exactly what I'd call a welcoming decor. It is pretty creative, okay. though. Oh what my I god, I just noticed we still have Charlie in the corner of the room. Oh my god! See, Charlie is with us! <laughs> oh, Charlie's still with us! A blue silk yeah, hat, just like the one Trucy's wearing. Oh, that's just for the show. Don't worry, please. 
Last thought from my mind, honest. I put it here so clients can see it and know who I am. Nothing says magician like a silk top hat. Uh, well, I, I guess I can't disagree. All these legal books must be Mr. Wright's leftovers. A lot of unrelated books in here, too. One trick a day, magic for idiots. You'd think a pro magician would aim a bit higher. <laughs> Can we look at the Charlie? Ah! Don't touch me, Mr. Charlie! Mr. Charlie? He's been in this office much longer than I have. Then his mentor had a great con connoisseur from Mr. Charlie. Before she was violently murdered. He's lived here since then, he was a rookie attorney. Huh, Mr. Charlie. Right. Now I, I take care of him. A table. That is not what I picked. A table is yeah. very sturdy. You've never seen one of these? It's a magic table. Uh, of course it is. So, like, you make this teapot disappear? So you might think, but that's not it. Before your very eyes, the content of the pot change. From Earl Grey to the... G <laughs> what I is don't this? I fucking know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm no help. The G... The G... The G... Clone help. The Giorno. Yeah, the Giorno. <laughs> wow! Cool. <laughs> Turning a whole tea into pizza is actually kind of impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Maybe you are a good magician, Trucy. <laughs> uh, who's, who's this? Who's this sightly gentleman? This, um... An old sepia-tinted photo of a man in a silk top hat. That's my favorite magician. I want to be just like him someday. Sure, nice. I guess it's good to have a role model. Even if he's gotta be well over a hundred. How rude! Are you reading my thoughts? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, no. In your head. Oh shit, and, uh, he's got the, um, he's got the clubs, and Trucy has a little diamond. I guess she modeled her outfit after him. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Much better magician than Maximilian. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the scene of the accident. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. This is where Mr. Rank got hit by that car? According to the map, this is the place. A huge mansion. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Oh, Apollo, like immediately, like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sli runs his hands through his hair, is like, just tries, like, slicks his hair back a little bit. Oh no, I thought about Apollo going, like, oh my god, no, my woman! <laughs> Let's question her. Um, okay. okay. <clears throat> I'm curious about. Park over there, too. Is that old bag? Oh, oh no, oh, I hope not. I do want to voice. Oh god. Okay, uh, where's the old bag? Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? Thank you. Okay, what voice should I give her? Oh god. You want something? <laughs> oh, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you got there. You must have a lot of money. Ooh, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. Ah, uh, weird analogy. <laughs> this is Sikitaki family mansion, little girl. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, family in, like, the royal sense or family in the Yakuza sense? I think second uh, one is more likely. Uh, you okay with her hair? You want something? Uh, <laughs> me? Uh, no, not a thing. Bye. <laughs> Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? We totally can, and we probably should. But the, the Kitaki family... Oh crap, they are Yakuza. <laughs> oh. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town! Why are you sweating? That's a sword! Oh, Jesus Christ. If you're going to ask something, ask it. You're man enough. I'm not, goodbye! Okay, <laughs> I'm... Right. Yay! We got to whip him into shape, ma'am! Why are you taking her side? She know no fear? I'm plump, 
Plum Kitaki, wife of the forward head of the Kitaki family business. You can hear like the drum beat and then like the Yakuza like intro splash screen as everything goes grayscale. Where's Majima? Where's Majima? Where's my boy Majima? Ah, oh, crap. Plum Kitaki. Wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family, a Tojo clan subsidiary. Friends <laughs> call me Little Plum. Oh crap, she has a cool nickname. Truzu, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Come on, Apollo, uh, be I'm a man. Little, I'm Little Apollo Justice, attorney at law. I'm just a little boy. Please do not kill me. Oh, I get it, Apollo. I think I am going to have to be a man here. Looks could kill. This woman would be a mass murderer by now. Okay, well, um... I dare you to ask me a question. I guess let's talk to the scary Yakuza woman. <laughs> <clears throat> Little Plum? That's a really cute name for someone so... Yes? Use your next word very carefully, Jersey. I will lead you to die. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, you see? Huh? That seems like a bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. <laughs> oh, little girl. You should know. The gangsters. Gangs? Oh, that means you're the bad guy. Trussie, what did I say about going through <laughs> me? <laughs> Trussie, through me! Please, I am begging you here! <laughs> <laughs> no, they're the good Yakuza. Bad guys? I like the sound of that. Oh no, these are the Yakuza that Kiryu fights, not the kind that Kiryu is. <laughs> I'm gonna need some warm tea after this. And probably therapy. Don't worry, we got DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry Polly, I turned all the tea into pizza. <laughs> It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us, bad guys. Oh, no. <laughs> so you're saying that business is in shop? Is in slump? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. Trucy, if there's any time for you to read my mind, now is it. <laughs> um, I guess let's ask about last night's accident. Did Phoenix get hit by a Yakuza? Man. I... Perhaps. So, there was supposedly a car accident here last night? Last night? Uh, of course you wouldn't know about it. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Wait. Okay! <laughs> yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? That's a... Uh, clarifying question. Means that man is in like Phoenix, right? Oh, that man is. 30 feet and just walked away. Oh, yeah, that guy. My daddy did what? Trusy. That's my daddy! Trusy! What is it? <laughs> I should have known. One of our capos. <laughs> Couples thought he'd make a great point, man. For some reason, they're using mafia terminology. Yeah, I not because the, because Ace Attorney still under still operates under the delusion that anyone is going to believe this is America. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard for me to read. Capo, point man. Um, could you avoid using too much uh, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but a trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning, blah. Cleaning up this paint? You have some problems with paint? Okay, so not only did uh, did Phoenix get hit by a Yakuza, he got hit by a ranking Yakuza. And he just stand, stood up and walked away? Okay, huh? that's, that's fine, that's fine, we're fine, Apollo, everything's cool. Oh, Actually, good. yeah, Phoenix fell on, he like... He fell from the a bridge into a river. I think he could survive a car hit. That's not really what I'm worried about. Now I'm worried about we left him alone in a hospital. Like, he might have, like, some grunt might be rocking up to his hospital but to shoot him right now. Duh, uh, okay, Polo, I'll leave this to you. I gotta see my daddy. 
<laughs> was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? Oh, it was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise. And found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You've my husband, the boss, to thank for that. Oh, great! Phoenix is indebted to the Mafia. That's fantastic. <laughs> Phoenix owes a life debt to the Yakuza. Damn! The car that hit your father knocked over, oh, knocked over this paint. Then turned the corner and spread away. We're in the middle of the repaint in our wall, you see. But that dragon, I'm so sure that dragon is glaring at me. It kind of does. But why are you are cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you the gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Goons as in grunts. <laughs> Please, go through me when you want to. <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. Okay. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Trucy has played the entire every Yakuza game. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's not afraid. Yep. Um, yes. But we come. <laughs> Please spell it for me. Community oriented. Community oriented gangsters, you see. Oh Thank my god, much. they are just the Yakuza. <laughs> the boss likes to give back to people, see? How noble of him. The people he doesn't murder. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will myself to the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there is just a pain on the street to deal with. How are you? Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. Well, Alright, she... right, Apollo, time to dig through the trash. I have, a, I have a question. Why is she cleaning up the paint with the broom? Isn't... I don't know. It is, isn't very effective. She's just being a little this game. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? We've established that, Trucy. But that's right. And I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, bring the sir the soldier by, would you? We'd never see him again, would we? No. No. Of course, then you can make them clean up their own mess. Ah, uh, you know what, Trucy, I'm gonna let you hold on to that. <laughs> You're cute. Naive, but cute. When I find whoever did this, you can bet I'm doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. Okay. Oh, I wish I could say cool things like that. Jersey. But Apollo, may I try it on you? No. Oh. I said yes. <laughs> I'll bet you do. <laughs> that if my teeth were chattering so hard. <laughs> Uh, let's, 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 let's that trash can. Ah! Oh! Oh god, two women! Oh no. Okay. Matt, he's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? I... There's something about her. Her vibes are off. Perhaps she did murder. Mm, perhaps. Uh, Another case queen. for the books. It's suspicious women. Man, I'm in a bit of a rush. <laughs> if this is old bag... I really hope it isn't. Looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. I smell an incident! Is it me? Well, uh, uh, would you, would you like it? <laughs> Ma'am, there's no entry to the park. Hey, don't you tell me where I can't go, young fella! I always walk through this park on my way home! Please, get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, man. That's quite the determined old lady. That's gotta be old bag. This is definitely her. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Trucy, there's a there's an ambulance parked out by the park. So? Hey, miss, stay out of the park. Uh, he 
he got mad at me. <laughs> uh, did something happen here, officer? Oh? Oh, no, move along. Nothing to see. Well, that's suspicious. <laughs> Why don't you kids go play someplace else? We're not kids, and we're not playing. I'm an attorney! Uh-oh. Question mark. Who the? Who my dad be? Ah, Detective no. Sky. We're finally... No. We're finally oh my... In the report. <gasps> no! Emma! Emma Sky! <gasps> what the fuck are you doing here? Okay, I guess I, um... It's... Detective? Why is she wearing a lap coat? You're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. And these kids are- I'm not a kid! <laughs> Fucking uh. curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. I have a badge I am going to put in your face! Ah, <laughs> uh, why don't your kids run alone play somewhere else? Yeah! I'm just short! <laughs> Five foot oh, two. I might spill something on the pretty face of yours. Are you threatening me or Trucy? Because she's 15. <laughs> what a dose of experimental hy- What is- what? Fuck is this word? Uh, let's see. Hydro- Let's just keep that. Acid. Call, call again? Uh, That's a hydroxy stuff. Whatever it is, it probably does not mix well with faces. Keep... Try to keep out of every frap. If you would... I am going to present my badge so hard it will make an indent in your face. Yes, you ma'am. Step... You gotta step into your tiptoes, then. How are we gonna get more information like this? Why don't Perspective. we ask the nice woman across the street? Uh... Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Fuck it. Let's uh, let's ask a favor from Yakuza. What else could happen today? I guess this is the kind of day I'm having. Never wake up in the morning and think, well, fuck it. This might as well happen today. No. Apollo, you're being too depressed. I am She's scared dead. for my life. Oh my god. Uh, I. <laughs> People park. Uh, can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh, yes. Quite a commotion. Chicago lighting, as the boss would say. Oh, someone got shot. <laughs> Chicago, huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. It wasn't even us. You're kidding. <laughs> What a morning! Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen in your house too? A crime without honor, without remorse. Okay. It's a private matter. Wanna hear about it? No, oh, thank you. I would like to. Somehow, I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. Oh, I actually think it's an incredibly acceptable answer. Apollo, once again, no one's asking your opinion. Uh... Hit the funny button, Apollo, come on. I don't want to hit the <laughs> funny button. <laughs> so, uh, what happened at your house? Bloomers, last night. Who the fuck is stealing underwear? Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. Me, little Bumpy Talkie, the victim of a pinky snatcher! What the fuck? Is there like a ring for this in this town? Um... Do, do I need to go lock up my boxers? What? So it wasn't just my panties that were stolen? Why is that the point that's plot relevant? <laughs> Got you two, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a handy criminal. Yeah, that's one word for them. <laughs> It wasn't you, was it? Uh, no, of course not! Mercy! <laughs> I've heard word that panties have been disappearing lately. What is some... and missing panties all have something in common. Hard to imagine Trucy 
It's hard to imagine anything about any of these things happening having something in common. But this is Ace Attorney, so they're all gonna be relevant. Just fuck. <laughs> Oh boy. No, I will find you a blummer stew. Uh, it's Trosie. Great, show me what you're made of. Uh, what have you got me into, Trosie? <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm not going to do Clone, would you be so kind to watch her? I think Jay should. Oh, fine. <laughs> that girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Oh, no. <laughs> They're relevant. Oh, my fucking god. Oh, um, hello, mother. She's a Kataki, too? Um, um, miss, miss. Oh, uh, she's a Kataki, too. Why did that make her more attractive? <laughs> <laughs> Bright <Yes>. anything agency. <laughs> The right anything agency. A anything agency? Yeah! Do you like the new flyer? When did you make this? <laughs> Just a few seconds ago. So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Don't introduce me as an attorney to the criminals. Why? Attorney? Job by our office. We'll be waiting. Trucy, I cannot think of a worse person to give a, the law bringer sales pitch to than a <laughs> fucking criminal daughter. <laughs> ah, goodbye. All right. Okay. Why did you give her our flyer? <laughs> because that's what kind people do, don't they? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty! She doesn't need our help! You don't know that. Come on. Well, I think you're having a mental breakdown. I am in a stressful situation! I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> 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 I love Apollo! He's so real! Uh, anything else? That. Wow, what a big house! And the gate is so big! Kitaki family is pretty big around these parts. I like that box! It's so cute! Trissy, that's a... Oh, that's... That's our family crest! From the old country! Your family crest? We're clever as a fox, and our teeth are sharp! So it's like a motto! You need a crest too, Apollo! Oh, how about the scales for the scales of justice for a lunar lander? What? What? I'll pass, huh? thanks. Actually, the scales yeah. thing sounds kind of cool. Let's let's keep that in our back pocket. <laughs> Brightly painted dragon. Why do I get a feeling he's glaring at me? Paints must have been to repaint this wall. That's right. I called in an artist to do the job right. He's the third so far. The third? What happened to the previous two? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here, the second on my kimono. So I... No, 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 no. don't tell me. It's better that I don't know. Yeah, well. Yes, let's, uh... You know, Trucy, let's, let's get out of here. You don't want to okay. pull out your badge on them? <laughs> Are you in a such big hurry, Paulo? I no longer feel safe in this situation. Okay. <laughs> June 15th, scene of the stand theft. So, what's this place? This would be Mr. Elton's house, silly. Oh, so this is where a stand was stolen from. A piece of evidence lying on the ground already. It's a down! Oh, uh, hey! Look, there's a police car parked over here. Oh, you're right. Look at the sparkly entrance. What is this place, a hospital? Rick. It's a sign. Maractus Clinic. Sorry, I spaced out for a second. The shine <laughs> oh. from the gate got through my eyes. I think it oh, shut down some of my neurons. <laughs> <laughs> One of my brain cells just burned up. I'll have to use mm. my index finger to press against my forehead and make a new one. Oh, this clear goes to make another. 
This way you're going to make another hole in your head, and there's more than just enough. Okay. Oh, this this is where the thief went. Thief? The one that slept my panties. He ran into this clinic last night. Oh, great. Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties. We I uh, doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Oh, it's Guy. Ah, there you are, Sonny. Guy, I do keep her voice. Will you find anything yet? Uh, uh, no, not yet. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. That is... This bowl of noodles is sounding less like a payment, more like punishment. <laughs> just investigating. I just like the, uh, new. Dog. New. New. Look, a doggy! Good boy, good boy, Salty! I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. Yep, sure does. Named Spoon. And it's the she, by the way. Aww. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Mm. Poor little Wait, thing. Are you... Wait, are you feeding a dog with a, po uh, with a noodle stew? Sodium poisoning is like a serious risk for dog. Um, Apollo, let's find that said soon. This spoon, for spoon's sake. I'm pretty <laughs> sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. But this Tell might how be to raise my dog. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> is this yours, Mr. Eldon? Hey, <laughs> there's the heart and soul of Eldon's noodles. Eldon. The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon, it's gonna taste just like noodles. <laughs> wow, it does smell like noodles. Trucy, please don't eat this bowl. <laughs> when I wanna, it looks so tasty. Oh my, the bowl's got taken away with my stand. All my tasty bowls. Lucky. <laughs> no. Get it back for me, Sunny Boy. I'm begging you. Please. Custom made Eldon's Noodles Bowl. Decorated with mascot. You're what touching evidence without a glove. Well, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Save the life. The handwritten sign here. Save the life. Save the light indeed. Mr. Eldon's house is practically in the dark here. I guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built that monstrosity. Broth needs sun or it rots. What's a man to do? I just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. See? For profit hospitals. This is America. <laughs> that seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. The profit? Well, it's sold. Been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. You have a wife? It's got character, though. Just like my soup. I just thought character was a positive thing. Oh my fucking god, Apollo! Man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So mean. He's a meanie. Apollo has the requisite degree of sass. <laughs> it's like an oil drum is connected to that sink over there. The lucky ring wanted to do the dishes. How environmentally conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and make his broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best <laughs> water money can buy. Taste is, a, he, taste is his business, you know? Look, the water sign over there. Eldon's only uses water from all natural sources. <laughs> I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. Too <laughs> bad, you're getting a pipe and hot bowl. I'm not giving you a choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a sign. I take it that's new as opposed to old. Ah, you like it? Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but ran out of space. Prior planning prevents prior performance. That's a lot of P words. Yeah. Lucky for me, it spells a word all by myself. It spurs up my image, it does. Does it? <laughs> yep. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Apollo. 
Bro is ruthless. I love it. Gotta make sure your defense attorney has the right amount of sass. <laughs> Three shots for the pro Oh god, this is an American hospital. Say they have a special offer going on. Three shots for the prized one. Oh, that was our chance, Apollo! Lucy, they don't need drinks. And also, oh. you'd be able to drink anyway. Chance for what? I don't need these shots, thank you. Whoever runs the click and. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. that uh, it's, the old, it's the old weird neurons firing again. I gotta stop looking at that gate. Whoever it's runs the clinic is pretty business-minded. I'd understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're activators. <laughs> Maybe. What? <Yeah. laughs> ah, sorry, miss. No going into the clinic today. Did that really happen? Huh? Oh, no. Nothing to see here. Move along. Okay, Trucy. Life tip. When a cop tells you that, they're lying. Okay. You'll have to find some place else to play, Doctor. Looks like the right age to be playing, Doctor. We need a little more info on this mer- On this mer- Maractus Clinic. We could ask Mr. Eldon. He's their neighbor at all. And we should check out the garage. What if the thief who stole my pants is still in there? Same, Apollo. <laughs> I guess we'll talk to Mr. Eldoon. So, your stand. Eldoon's doodles, was it? I passed down from father to son. That stand seems a chair of old salt. Mm -hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. Okay, this fixation on salt. There are other ingredients to noodles, right? I probably no, have I have soul. I have salt in my soul and my veins. I sniff salt. I breathe salt. Yep. That high blood pressure does too. And dehydration. And hallucinations <laughs> and... Uh, what is it, migraines? High sodium has a lot of problems. Sodium poisoning is a serious concern. Well, um... So your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, Sonny Boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salty, my salt crusted stew pot, my stain sign. I didn't just lose the stand, I lost a legend. Yeah, but like in a police report, you would put down that you lost your stand. Oh, you're just gonna harmonica? Okay. No one steals a legend and gets away with they on my watch. Let's find the legend, Apollo. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Just, just stop <laughs> stancing up. What time you bought a new one anyway? You'll get used to that stand of yeah, Apollo. Good. Are there any more details you could give me about the stand? You bet, Sonny Boy. It happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Okay. Somewhere mm -hmm. about an hour before Phoenix got hit. For hour after. Uh -huh. Guess he's not aiming for the late night market. I was washing my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease, then I went washing inside. Washing my bowls. Oh, God, witchy. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. That one took me a second. <laughs> when did you notice you had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose, work starts early. How many people eat noodles for breakfast? Actually, a lot of people still follow. operating around nine. Wouldn't he have seen the accident? Mm. Maybe. I'm washed up on the salty shores of ruination. <laughs> that stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole beginning. And my wife! <laughs> Look, everything? Even your wife? All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. But this the left one bowl. Look, there on the ground. You don't find that stand today. Then I'll be forced to walk the streets, pedaling that bowl my last day. My last bowl. Fuck. 
My love. Please don't have under enough pressure here as it is. <laughs> the barrage. That's it! That's where the thief who snatched the painters ran to! It's a crying shame, that is. You've, said, you've mentioned that. <laughs> if I have to steal, make it my own <laughs> cloth. Not some pretty girl's panties. Okay, that's an image I'm never getting rid of and desperately did not need. <laughs> Garage, right. You don't think the thief lives there, do you? Feh. Feh. I wouldn't put it past that good for nothing, doctor. Ah. Uh, do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to, che to check out that garage thoroughly. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out uh, front. Eh, probably gave someone food poisoning, I bet. They're a clinic. <laughs> Anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning. That police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me the neighbor. Eh. Hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. I was just the matter, or it was just a matter of time for it. He got what was coming for him. The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Oh god, it's a Yakuza hospital. Oh jeez. That has some disturbing implications. Alright. Where are we going? Oh. Hmm. See, on the one mm -hmm. hand, violent, murderous Yakuza that I may have to, like, flex my being a lawyer authority to to get into the park. The other hand, this plot that I have to... Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, just get my noodles, please. Murderous Yakuza sounds pretty good right now. What about my panties? Uh, one thing at a time, Trucy. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, hold on, I need, I need to hit the present button. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I got no idea what you're talking about. I was. I kind of wanted to show it to the officer. All right, fine. I'll go to the damn garage. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Aldoon. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Aldoon. Get my noodles. Ah, skeleton. What the fuck? Oh, a kitty. And a mannequin. This is the place. This is where the paint is natural. Run. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. <gasps> there he is! So he points to the skeleton. Hmm. Oh, he must have died of dehydration. From all those noodles clues. next to him. Clues to panties snatching. Clues like a pair of panties. Uh, Trucy? I not say panties so many times. Well, it's You're a gonna fun, raise this game's funny. age rating. It's a funny word. Like the skeleton. Oh, it's just the gold painted human skeleton. What? This the human skeleton? It's painted gold? There's a medic queen hand waving to us in the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. Oh, Look hey, at the ladder. kitty! It's a step ladder. Look, it's a folding ladder. Polly, that's called a step ladder. Come on! A step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form, at the essence of the thing. Um. Can we talk about something else? Why did I just get a weird sense of deja vu? <laughs> Yo, he's chilling. Hey, a kitty cat! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! Aww. It's not coming down. You look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. He's here, won't hurt you. Hey! It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. Hey! <laughs> uh, phone! Something about this car. That is not what I clicked <laughs> on. Let's take a closer look! In. Oh. There's also a rag in the exhaust. 
Look, cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this this tire. If the car moved, he would be crushed. He would be crushed for sure. Hmm. What if it belongs to a doctor here? We should bring it to him later. Or her, Susie. Out of the Maractus Clinic garage beneath a car. Who could stop it? Nice timepiece. Also, the car doesn't have the uh, the mirror. But yeah, it's missing a rear. This car is fucked. That reminds me. Let's read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Hmm? Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved to the tailpipe. Not that fucking oh. case. Uh, I remember that. That fucking case. <laughs> piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Yeah, Apollo, it sure fucking did. <laughs> wow. I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gonna have a hobby, I guess. I don't know if that's the word for it, Trucy. Wouldn't it be funny <laughs> if... Hey, there's something in there. What? Oh, fucking hell. It actually has nothing to do with- Oh, oh god. Already? What the fuck were they doing in the tailpipe of a car? Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. This raises so many questions. No, no, really, don't mention it ever to anyone, please. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. You must have nose for fighting girls' painting. Uh, what are those? My little panties, of course. They're coming home to mama. I can't wait to use them. Uh, I have so many questions. Which clothes now? See? Nothing in the panties. Ta da! What? What? I. What? My panties are an extra dimensional place. Anything can fit in there. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. I don't have to ask Mr. Wright for some of that grape juice when we see him again. <laughs> <laughs> they love them over the Wonder Ball. I, I do show their Nike. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have mentioned that a little sooner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran over the tool of my tray. Oh, right. Tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. Window! Or mirror. Hey! Yeah! Mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue! What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? Cracks or knuckles. <laughs> clue? Well, let's see. Yeah. Uh, do we have it again? Mm. I think we do. Yeah, those red Just... knuckles. I mean, do we, do we have anything to present? Other than just like, hey, we have... Like, the broken mirror might be something? I don't think it's very important to show... And I don't think there is an evidence here. Yeah. I or is it just so. is it just saying show evidence like point to the Is it gonna ask me to point to the to the car mirror? Maybe. Or is it going to just be like, hey uh pick Maybe something I, out I of all of the all of I, the the uh the evidence you don't have. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I do think Trucy is that blind to see that mirror yeah. is broken. Hit it. You'll never know. Dash R. Yeah, I do have this. Oh, fuck. It does. No. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, we don't have anything like this. I was wrong. Uh. Oh, yeah. You're uh, attorney base. Look at you, attorney base. Crap, I don't have anything. Uh, Go home, Amy. Trucy, did you know I'm a defense <laughs> attorney? Take that. <laughs> Just deadpan. Apollo. That's your clue? Sorry, but that leaves me feeling kind of clueless. No, but I'm a defense attorney. Like father, like daughter with the humor, apparently. There's no need to bluff here, Apollo. 
Save it for the clip. Thanks for the advice. Okay, well, clearly we're missing something. Mm. Maybe Can we move the to the <laughs> other side of the garage? Oh. 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 No, we can't. Oh, uh, wait, we'll tr try to um, press the examine. Maybe it will let us to move to the other? Oh, no, it doesn't. What the hell are we missing? Mm. Am I, am I, am I dumb? Did I forget something? Yeah, yeah. Find my doodle, Sam. No. No, we didn't. What I about didn't the do it. I didn't do it, Mr. Aldoon, I promise. Did I just not accept something? We found my panties, and that is what important. Officer. I gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, I said no one gets in. Unless you want a face full of... <laughs> you are threatening a civilian officer. No dice. I think there's like a slipper in there. Big trash can on the way to the park. I guess we can check it out. A detective's life sure is hard one. Especially when you're not a detective. I'm an attorney, actually. Huh? Hmm. Two pieces. Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers <laughs> you get at the hospital. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't it go on the car? Mm. It's a side view mirror! Looks like it was torn off when it's backed into something. Or someone. Wait, you don't think... Boo. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off the mirror? I never knew Jada was so strong. I think durable is a better word. <laughs> I only have room from I only have room in my pockets for these I for these though. Which do you want to take? What? Wait. I have a fucking she infinite take... hammer space for evidence in my pockets, but just for some reason. Okay, well we'll take the mirror, because we know where to use it. Yep. Right, well, oh, now, now that we've another... tampered with a crime scene. <laughs> Now we can move to the garage and, and show her the mirror. Hey. Show her your badge again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got this car. Uh-huh. Investigate the mirror, or lack of. Mm -hmm. Here's been broken off. Mm, this is a clue. Mm-hmm. Moving, are you following? Let's see. I think I've got just the clue you got in mind. See, true did you, you know, know that I'm a defense attorney? Oh, we'll present Oh, you just gotta make me draw these, but did you follow them? My clue is this! <laughs> wow! It's the same color as the size and everything! Perfect match! I guess we could check it out. Hmm. Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo! Doesn't it go in the car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off and it's backed into something. Someone. Remember that conversation we just had like 30 seconds ago? <laughs> yeah, sure do. What a nostalgia, huh? So the car that hit daddy last night. Sitting right in front of us, yep. <laughs> Apollo, like, starts punching the car. Why'd you hit Murray? Tell me! Answer me! And she, like, choose to join them. She already have the stand. Why did you hit my daddy? Wow, you put the pro in the professional, Apollo. Hey, thanks, Trissy. Apollo! Huh? What is it? Now that we have solved the case, we should go to reporting daddy. Kill Mopo if we leave him alone too long knowing him. Uh, okay. He doesn't seem like the type to mope, though. This is hardly a case worth reporting. I mean, he did get hit by a car. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Aldoon. My, my, my noodles. Please. No. Find my noodles. My legend. My livelihood. My, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my balls. Field clearance. 
Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. Good to have you youngins on the case. Little daddy-o gets some well-deserved R&R. &R. The elder needs the rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? Still. Uh, we cleared up most of the cases. Who's right about you? Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out. If you want to. Honestly, I'm doped up on so many painkillers right now, I could zone the fuck out right now. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. Ah, uh, progress report. Oh, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Paul is amazing! He found my painting so quick! Almost like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? Find the mad driver who gave me that 30 foot toss? Apparently it was a doctor from the Maractus Clinic. Huh. Maractus, huh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened? What is this Maractus Clinic anyway? Well, all I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way. Bad. Ties to organized crime. The Kentucky family. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, the Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. Some ridges you can't take to a public hospital, you see. They use the Maractus Clinic for their patch-up job. Interesting. Not every Yakuza can just shrug off bullet wounds by chugging a stamina royale. <laughs> One could it looks like something had happened in the bug. Ah, a body was found there in unusual circumstances. Huh? Something more unusual than being dead? Now, did we just switch voices for a second there? Yeah, that was weird. I didn't like that. <laughs> it's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find the noodle stand. Never happened to professional curiosity. Thanks, really. I get tired of sleeping. Maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Daddy, you have to stay in hospital. Please, for your sake. Now I want to do stuff. Uh, Daddy, shut up. I was wondering when I get paid. I found the case of your accident and uh, found a missing article of clothing. My pinky. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that leaves the noodle stand. Uh, eh? Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. I quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. Uh. Right, back to the office. Plan our next move. Hey. Show him your badge. Show oh, I know. I should have shown him my badge. Be like, hey, you know. You know they had something. Right, anything agency. Oh, crap. Ooh, you're the woman from the Kentucky place. Are you here to kill us? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> she... Yes, Polly, she's here to kill us. I knew it. Something the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you've gone to the right place. This way, please. I'd offer you some tea, but I turned it all into pizza. <laughs> um, thank you. I just love the journal. My name is Elite Diala. I have a request. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your request. <laughs> Let me guess. Something's been stolen. Um, Your flyer. It says now defending. So. Oh. What? You mean want me to defend you? Hey. Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Nothing still you stand? Or your painting? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? You heard about what happened at the park. Oh, crap. 
Oh Fuck damn, it, of course. he's not It's Ace Attorney and no one's been murdered. Of course we haven't met our client yet. Uh. So, what's your story? You frequent the Kitaki Mansion, yeah? Are you a member of their, uh, organization? No, not yet. That's a terrifying answer. Not yet. See, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. Oh! Oh. Awesome! The boss's son. So he's a... Yes. Dope. Yes, but the Kitakis are locally responsible gangsters. Yeah, I'm sure that makes a nice defense when they're murdering people. Thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job. Oh, fuck. This girl's played Yakuza. <laughs> Every game in your channel are connected, Jay. Oh, fuck. Everyone yeah. turning police. The Yakuza Rose Cinematic in Universe. And every Yakuza character plays Ace Attorney. They just know each other. I think you're all just Actually, talking. technically these two games do share a universe. Um, well, yeah. In, uh, there's like, there was this old... There's like this old Sega crossover game. With that both Kiryu, Majima, and Phoenix and Maya appeared in. Yeah, Project Z or something like that. Project X Zone 2, I think it was called. Oh, yeah, right. Miss Kataki, I like the sound of that. Don't get any ideas, Trucy. I'm Why? sure your daddy would care much for that. What happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park, near the Kitaki Mansion. There's a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this. Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Drusy, he's a gangster. I asked her. Not you. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Your fiancé is the Kitaki family, so it's always so uh, great. He's a Yakuza heir, that's fantastic, that's awesome! I'm defending the heir of a Yakuza family! I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. cool. I'm awesome. Everything's fine. <laughs> Static speed! Apo Apollo, you don't sound like time. His name is Waki. Waki Kitaki. I brought a photo. His name is what? That's. Well, you tell. That's fine. I'm going to call him Waki. I'm going to tell. I'm going to call him Waki. Yeah, that looks like a fucking Waki. It looks like oh a Waki job. <laughs> well, that's quite the photo. <laughs> I know. It's... Oh, he could be powerful and menacing, but so cute. Yeah. That's cute. That's a wordful. That's the word. Wait, hold on. He's got a blue badger shirt. Isn't the blue badger a police mascot? Jesus. What, what is that 10 bucks says on the shirt? Like... Yeah. He's but, wanted for $10. He's the boss's only son. Guess I'm sure he'll take what? his father's place someday. I'm not gay, but 10 bucks is 10 bucks. <laughs> but a blue badger shirt is a blue badger shirt. <laughs> hey, I'm a bustle already. I'm the Sanjinsi. Please help my walkie, please. Right. My first solo defense case. And it's the heir to a Yakuza Empire. I'm fine. Was okay. He doesn't look like he could kill anyone. Maybe. If I boss his son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Oh, awesome. Cool. A request from Alita Tiala for the legal defense of her fiance. I got a right, message. let's go and check out the scene of the crime. Okay. Jay, so, are button. we allowed to go to the yeah. park now? Do not say what it says, but look in the rat general at what Kit Kat has messaged. <laughs> <laughs> it is just. <laughs> oh my fucking. Okay. That's all. <laughs> Okay. I just need someone else to acknowledge it. Okay. Uh, so let's fuck around. That's something I have to think about the rest of today. Yeah. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? American politics are getting spicy. Mm. Uh, oh. All right. Uh, all right. Detention yeah. center. Oh, Ooh. we have to go talk to Waki. Yep. Uh, oh, we'll we, do uh, that later. Uh, actually, uh, no. Uh, uh, Clown, you want to read for Waki? <laughs> if he's here. I guess. <laughs> yeah. She's probably here. You know, June 15th. It. Hey, it's the wax figure again. 
They upgraded oh, the just... camera on the window, but they just have the same guard standing there. Been here forever. Well, you look as happy as a claw on the shelf. The lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. <laughs> you need something? Ah, uh, sorry. <clears throat> uh, yes, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Walkie Kataki. Apollo, why are you making that voice? Oh, uh, this is my normal. This is my normal voice. This is my normal person. Sorry, voice. I talk like Sorry. this all the time. That sounds stupid. Sorry, he's in questioning right now. Could you take a while? Could I take don't know a while. Problem, sir. Fuck. Oh well. Yes, we'll have to come back later then. I'll be on my way. How much for that battle? <sighs> Actually, let's examine. Let's look around. Oh. That security camera is looking at me. They tape all this. Flip it off. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. Security guard stands here, watching this room. I have no idea if he's listening to us talk. Not even sure he's breathing. <laughs> That's a wax figure. Damn. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Please get up out of get out of our office. Oh no, there's a. Oh, who the fuck? Motorcycle. Hmm? Ooh. Wait, I think I know who this is. Oh, damn. Uh, I I know who Kyle, this is. If I we did. encounter someone other than Waki here, if we encounter who I think it is, do you mind if I read for him? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, the officer's oh, uh, back. Ah, uh, it's you kids again. <laughs> I misread. Look. Can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing! We're not investigating, aren't we, Bob? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter, oh. letter of the... Oh. Why does it say hit request on it? What the fuck? Apollo! Why didn't you look at the other fucking side of the paper? <laughs> Perfect! Oh. Mr. Tiala must have used the Kitaki stationery. Did we come through? Oh god, it is this oh. guy. Ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who's this guy? <laughs> I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. <laughs> but this is the first time I've felt this way with a man. That's what? a word for it! We are That's two lines for in. <laughs> okay, this... Okay, this... so I am vaguely familiar with this guy. I know that this is Apollo's Edgeworth. <laughs> Oh, I did not it expect looked... that we would get the unnecessary feelings line two lines in. <laughs> Mr. Gavin, could you Apollo, are you... back up a uh... bit? Apollo, why are you sweating? Don't worry about it. Trauma. Oh god, he's, he's German. Ah, oh, Fraulein. The sweet morsel like you do in such a dismal place. Can I help? Uh... Yes. The policeman offers a fellow one won't let us in. We have a letter to request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to see the crime. <gasps> really? <laughs> By your leave, officer. Yeah. Uh yes, sir. Uh of course, sir. She almost <laughs> said yeah, yeah. Very well. This way, Fraulein. God. Okay, well... Left behind. Hey, what about me? <laughs> what the- Hey, noodle stand! My hey. noodle. My noodles. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. We'll see you again. Pass the wind for a line. I'll be riding on it. He's kind of pretty, though. What's that? Your future Edra. <laughs> oh god. Apollo, look! A corpse! Huh? What? Where? Oh, wait. Oh, it's a mannequin. Wow. It sure got me. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Who's this? I don't oh, know. Oh, I. Oh, it might be. Oh, fuck. Emma. Emma. Oh, it's you. How'd you kids get in here? I am a defense attorney! Oh, this guy. Well, he was more like a prince, really. He'll let us in. Him again. 
What a glimmerous bob always getting in my way. Anyway, this sin of this sin is off limits. Excuse me? We have a letter of request. Hmm. One moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? Just holds up to the sun and burns <laughs> the letter. <laughs> I recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says it was written by Alita Tiala. You just kind of looked at it. Thanks. So? It took you 30 minutes to figure that out? 30 minutes? It's signed! So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body present representing the place of the crime as it was found. The body? Pulling the stand? So you're a defense attorney, are you? Yes! Fuck! I've been saying that for like 30 minutes! <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't hear you because you're the player's voice. <sighs> Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you both how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. That's a very specific number to carry. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna look around the crime scene. <laughs> I'm gonna snoop through all your shit. You're gonna do what? Bye. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene. Oh man, we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried by professionals scientifically. Yeah, that's what I kept telling people, and here I fucking am. <laughs> Not gonna let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. Want me to kill this bitch? <laughs> you want me to throw hands with her? I'll look, look Apollo, I can pull out a gun out of my panties. <laughs> well, a new magic yeah. trick. I can make this mean woman disappear. Her truth is neutral special. She wields yeah. a gun. Oh, God. Chokes on my water. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. Kinda hard not to notice. I'd better check out what we came here to find, at least. Uh, officer! Detective! I'd like to report some stolen property! Hey there! No messing with the crime scene! Fucking bitch, let me talk! <laughs> <laughs> you investigate! Apollo, look! That's Stan! <gasps> it's the same type of stand as Star Platinum! <laughs> <laughs> it says Eldune! Oh wait, that was Trucy. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've noticed. Feeling lines, I see. Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand, at least. But the circumstances could stand to be better. Heh, <laughs> high five brain. <laughs> well... I guess we're gonna tell Mr. Eldune about this. I don't really want to talk to you. It's kind of mean. But what if he? Um. Okay. I mean, we just could talk nope. to her, but we should probably tell Mr. Eldune about the stand. You just want to hear my <laughs> voice, don't you? Well, don't uh, fucking sue me for wanting to listen to you talk. Give my voice a break. Oh, Mr. Eldon. Um, hello. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 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 And we found this stand and everything! What about your free ball? I mean, there's still one sitting on the ground there. Ah, oh, too bad. Looks like we have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Oh, what a bummer. But you told me not to eat from the bowl. Hey, Phoenix had some sass. Apollo is just like consistently a dick. It's the best. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll talk to Emma. Uh, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's next time. Munch, 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 Make after nine years, and they won't give me a position I requested. And then I heard he gave up the defense attorney life. Hey, hey, I 
next defense attorney? I don't know any of those. <laughs> Not oh, let's, single let's go talk to Phoenix. You think he will have some lines about the Emma? I mean, Phoenix knew Emma. Well, he definitely. Probably bring up Hi Lady. Probably bring up the like, hey, this mean detective lady named Emma Sky isn't letting us do investigation. <laughs> Oh, you're back. Run into some problems? Oh, Bully! Didn't you want to tell Danny something? Oh, me? No, I'm fine, really. This. So there is a problem? Oh, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. Request was for me! Oh, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose! I know it! Murder! <laughs> That's I'm not a dialogue option, it's just, just an action choice. Hey, I'm Phoenix, going to murder you. Just kill I'm, Phoenix. Apollo, I'm, Apollo, could you please put down the knife? So, what about this defense request? <laughs> it's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found an ambulance noodle in the center of the crime! Did you now? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? I've never made that mistake. <laughs> That's funny. Detective lady won't let us to the scene. What kind of detective? Where is the lab coat anyway? Lab coat? I think she'd be involved in this. You know her? You can say that. I knew a lot of little girls. I have, I've interacted with a lot of frustrating people. <laughs> so, you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. It was about ten years ago. She made me fuck around with a lot of 3DS mechanics. She was still a high school student at the time. I think they're about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the polite types. I think our police types couldn't gumshoe oh, him here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh wait, maybe you know that other guy too. That other guy? Wait, the hot one? I do know oh. a lot of hot police. <laughs> what did you say, Polo? The, the shiny prince on the motorcycle. Prince? Misty. Why are we all just calling him a prince? Because we can't call him hot in front of my dad, Apollo. Apollo, tell me about this prince of truces. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? Tell him? I guess he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. Oh, great. Brother? We're uh, acquaintances after a fashion. Javier Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. Javier. What a lovely name! He's so dreamy! Oh, like Cavalier. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. I didn't know he had a brother that was that hot, too. <laughs> Just like speaking objectively. I, I, I'm, I'm the lady type. I promise. That's alright, Apollo. Yeah, Apollo, you're making the same mistake as my daddy. Oh no, I was pretty much always aware of the situation. I think that's why Mr. Justice is so concerned about your existence, Trucy. <laughs> I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. Uh, alright, cool. I'm neutral about that. Have you trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, the detective woman won't let us. Hmm, well, you aren't detectives. Go to the office. Under a silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Throw it at her face. It'll melt her skin. <laughs> Try taking that to this detective. White powder. That's not what I think it is. Just take it to her. It'll be fine, you'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. Okay, let's go... Let's go bribe a detective with mysterious white powder. Ooh, white powder. My it's favorite. not flour, Trucy. Damn. <laughs> so this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Let's take a closer sniff. Let's take a closer sniff. Whoa! Don't sniff it. You know what this is, Trucy? 
Um, drugs? Oh no. <laughs> I was really happy to have drugs. <laughs> I remember fighting someone dead as dresser when I was little. It's Jersey! Oh no. I, remember, I thought it was Jersey! She got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. With the alleged ability to improve detective skills. Okay. This is obviously fingerprinting dust, but oh my god. At least gingerly into pocket. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, let's take what we have every reason to believe is cocaine to a detective that already doesn't like us. Okay, uh, hey lady, you'll never guess what we found. Hey detective, here's some cocaine. Uh, does this ring any bells? Huh? Is that... I couldn't... Where did you get that? She starts, like, strangling Apollo. Give it to me! Yes. <laughs> I brought it from the office. You work at the writing call office, yes? Uh, I wanted to. Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D-daddy? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Tracy Wright, Phoenix Wright, there. What? It means to write as a daughter? That man's fucking? <laughs> you seem shocked. Well, I, I sure everybody who knew you. Mr. Wright would be. Well, actually, I know a long woman. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice... Then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh my fucking god, that is a 180. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detective fingerprints. Detective fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess your my call is a memento from the time I spent Mr. Wright with Mr. Wright. Like powder memories. If we found any evidence with the fingerprints on it, please let me know. Well, dust for prints. Please, I need to do something. I'm so bored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. That's some fucking dad talk, Apollo. <laughs> Alright, well, let's investigate the crime scene. Oh, hey, there's a knife in the ground. <laughs> How did I know oh, there, oh see my... that before? No, you didn't Wait. notice. You just chose not to mention it. How the f no, I completely missed that. <laughs> I didn't notice the difference. Oh my god, I just straight up did not see that fucking knife. World's the best detective. It's a knife. A shift to be precise. Actually, wouldn't Shiv imply it's makeshift? That seems pretty well made. Yeah. Ooh, lingo! The defendant of Woki Woki Kitaki is the son of a no gangsters. The police are assuming he belongs to him. This belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Huh? Look at this. There's a handprint on the shiv. A handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint. Let's investigate. Oh, great. Uh, I'm Use not doing head. this. Use I'm not pressing any keys. Right. First, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. Okay. See? There's more than one fingerprint here. Some of these might be mine. <laughs> Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Uh, probably the big one. Right. Let's get detecting. Wow. It's actually glowing. First, sprinkle some elu- <laughs> Aluminum oh, powered over, over the print. It was someone's like talk to Zama and I completely forgot she's using a lot of scientific words. Yeah. Flex your space muscle like this, see? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Witchy. <laughs> <laughs> the oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder as just so you just dust on it and blow it up. Don't blow with the mic, Jay! Blow? It's like the whistling. You know how you to whistle, don't you? Flex your arm button and... 
Wow, it's amazing, like magic. It's wind. No, it's magic. <laughs> Is it though? Right, let's give it a shot. Accidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Now blow. Now sniff it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh. Mm, good. Clear. Quite impressive. Yeah. They called me. The sniffer. They called me. They called me Apollo <laughs> Justice back in college. Usually people have a nickname when they say that. No, I didn't have a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Next, too much friends. The police office has samples for you so you can tell whose fingerprints this print belongs to. Mm. That doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. <laughs> mm. Okay, pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea who's that this is already. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's yours. Who's this fucking guy? Yeah. Oh my who's sky! This, who's this motherfucker? Clavier Gavin! I've accused one Gavin of murder, you can be damn sure I'll accuse another. <laughs> Trucy! Don't you fucking dare! Actually, it does kind of look like Trucy. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, well, it's Kitaki. Mm hmm. Ah, the evidence meter is rising. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, the power of science. It's my life. What are those glowy vials in your bag? Oh, it's oh. none of your business. Sorry, I use them to threaten onlookers. <laughs> Apollo, she's sparkling. I'm dimming. Look sharp, spray it up. Spirits up, the real fight is yet to come. Oh, fantastic. Chin up, Polly! Stop calling me that. I'm going to call you to the rest of your life. The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. <laughs> this is sick. Added to the court record. Let's do some more investigating. Let's see, is there anything anything else incredibly suspicious that I missed? Assault. And this is Mr. Eldon's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Eldon in big letters, doesn't it? Now that mark on his paper lantern looks familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo! Leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. Fantastic. I'm fine. This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. Mannequin in place of a body. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stand thief? What? You think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah. Take care of the business, little plum kataki style. I'm concerned by how quickly you've taken to the criminal life. It's not too eager about that, please. Are you feeling threatened, Apollo? <laughs> Are you scared? I'll kill a bitch if I have to. <laughs> Gotta be a good clue to up here. You and your trash cans. Go ahead, knock yourself out. We found something really important in the last one. <laughs> Can't you see I'm doing my... Huh? Look. Ooh. Another pair of underwear. Please, I don't know what... I don't want to think who it belongs to. Wow, Paul, you're a genius. I'm saying that. Wait, these aren't... Don't say it out loud, please. These are not mine. Could these have been stolen too? Uh... Are these this... gloves? Probably He's not. said it. No. 
No, we found the Apollo. I hope They're you're wearing gloves. Ah, uh, a little urban oasis. And the children come here to splash around in the water. That river's a little deep for splashing. And a little dirty. Well, they could listen to the water and pretend they were playing. A park for them to play in. The tops have been placed on the ground around the stand. Apollo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here. There's a, um... I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Don't touch those. Those are preserving to the crime scene. Oh, I guess the police put the tarps here after all. Police put the tarps here after all. Fuck. I yeah. know words. Reading is hard. Fuck that, man. The rapper came in last night. The body was found much as we did now. Except it was real body. Was it also saluting? <laughs> but why? <laughs> was. Why was the body pulling the noodle stand? Well, I mean, I can guess that they were alive when they were pulling the noodle stand. If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? The bullet went to the temple. He was uh -huh. shot by a pistol. A pistol? Yes, Trucy, it's a kind of gun. Apollo, I know what the gun is. Won't you demonstrate? <laughs> Not the like, easy takes thing. off her hat and pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not the easier things to come by the day and night. Trucy would disagree. <laughs> Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Or a magician. Incidentally, the victim's name was Paul Miractus. Paul Miractus. I just received an autopsy report, in fact. Practice is our top to report as for the court record. I mean, really, what's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off fully in the mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell Apollo. Tell her what? After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is... <laughs> Detective <right>. Dick Gumshoe! <laughs> where is he? No. Yeah. It's Phoenix Wright! Phoenix is somewhere around. Training. This guy. I want, I want to blame the doctor thing. <laughs> Mood touchy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hot. Wait, Mr. No, it's, it's uh, Elton. Yep. He's 46. Yeah. Yep. Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldune's noodles, Mr. Eldune himself. He's famous in this part of the town. Allegedly. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kiss for the job. I... <sighs> and he made me... This saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Oh, that victim odd. died pulling it. That is really weird. The dumbest death ever. What sort of person was the victim anyway? The kind that steals a noodle stand. And got <laughs> shot in the head. And, <laughs> like and the pulled it into the river, I guess? You mean what he you mean what he did to do? He was a doctor. Doctor? I'm trying to see a connection here. The lines are being drawn. <laughs> Who? Me? I'm a sub I'm a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. Hmm. I feel like there was another detective at some point. Much <laughs> blockier. Less competent. Much bigger, I'd say. Much easier to work with. <laughs> I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic science. Scientist. Oh, <gasps> you were studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Under Francisco Moncarba. No! Here, check out what I brought. She produces a whip. <laughs> ah! That, that's terrifying. I was I taught how to the... use it on defense attorneys that bother me. Oh, you don't say. Forensic sciences, mind you. 
But when I got back here, they threw me into a criminal affairs. Just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensic accepted expert in Europe? And no one in, no one in Europe gets murdered. Yeah, it only happens in America. Well, I suppose that wasn't a, an option, but... A lot of favors to repay the people back here. Favors? This woman she left? What? What's the look for? Don't worry about it. I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owe them. His people? It was me and Maya tops. <laughs> Wait, wasn't Maya like oh, in yeah, the no, grave village? Oh yeah, it was just me. <laughs> really? I had no idea. Yeah, it wasn't a very good case, so I don't talk about it a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, state of affairs. Uh, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yeah? Well, Kitaki. That fucking such a stupid name. Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know if he is the boss son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently, in the def in the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? Well, he's suspected in the murder. I don't know, maybe someone got fucking murdered, Apollo. <laughs> you're a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his. You're not his by any chance. Um. That well, depends. Right? If I said yes, would you not tell me? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, yes, I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Oh, fucking great, of course you do. The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. Oh, awesome. That's cool. <laughs> great. What? Yeah, great. Fucking fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Mm, well, let's see. Apparently he's the patient at the clinic in the area. Do we get to send Hottie to prison? <laughs> <laughs> Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is uh, Meractis Clinic. Hmm, maybe that's why the cops are not back here. What? You've been at the clinic? I mean, we been it. We went in the front. We like we weren't allowed in the front door. Yeah, though on a related issue. Tell the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. Hmm, I see. So that means... Dr. Maraca stole the stand and pulled it to the way here? That would seem to be the case. Hmm. But why? That's an excellent fucking question. Don't ask me! So, have you met the defendant? No, we probably should have done that. <laughs> ah, uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over in the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and dealing and healing over. Good idea. Know what good it'll do. We have a witness and a knife with prints. Bet you I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry. It's like right. It's like right tradition. I am not a right. I am a justice. Didn't he like adopt you? Didn't Mr. Right like adopt you? That didn't. That's uh, well, not legally. How old is Apollo? I have no idea. I I heard about he's twenty two. Mm. Uh, so I feel like somewhere in that ballpark, like just old enough to drink. Executive <laughs> director of the Miraculous Club died of cold. Um, goddamn reason. Hey, uh, let's head to the detention center. Of the detention center. Fine, you get to read again. Oh no, <laughs> my worst skill. Oh. oh yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm sorry. Meeting hours for the day are done. Oh come on. Still three minutes. I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking to in the private room with him. The father? You mean like a prize? 
I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfield Big Wits. Kataki himself. Our big wins. Big wins. Not someone I care to meet. Die you. You're the one on your way out, old. Oh, I gotta pick a voice for him. Fuck. Okay. It's okay, you'll get used to it, clone. Uh, I got a voice. Eh. I think I got oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> He's Whoa, big! This guy radiates power. Whoa! This guy's energy's off the charts! I've never sensed power like this before. Could he this be? Is this. Um. Power with a cute apron. You walk, he's lawyer? Yes, sir! Well, I'm Big Wins Kataki, fourth head of the Kataki family. Capiche? Again, like the Yaku, like the splashed intro. <laughs> the red text and the gray background. Uh, actually, I came to speak to your son. Mr. Justice. Oh, you know my name. Awesome. Yes! My son's innocent. He's killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Yes! I'm all about Capiche. Capiche loud and clear. You gotta do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn, though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, old man? You can't threaten me like a kid no more. Not now. Oh god, this guy. I hate how he looks. You know, I... I... I wanted to go to the... Link. I like it here. You... Must be walking. A G's not... A G till he does our time. Boozy. Are busy. You see, when I get out of here, things will change. Silence. Damn. He's so powerful, he even got the soundtrack to shut up. <laughs> he fucking faded out of existence. <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Just Justice. He's unusually such. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. You couldn't take me under your wing this time, old man. You heard me. I don't need no trial. I did it. No, this isn't good. I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. Okay. We have... We have... Tracy, don't say anything. <laughs> so much for talking to our client. Well, we missed your promise today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> totally. We even found my panties. I have fun at least. Great, awesome. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight, I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. Uh... I, I kind of have to build a case now. To be continued. <laughs> Alright. Well. We're in a bit of a fucking pickle. Indeed. I think I'll, I think I'll call it a stream here. It's been, it's been a good two hours. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> this is quite a fucking case. I, I made this comparison in uh, the first case too. Apollo has had a way rougher start than Phoenix did. Like, granted, yeah, Phoenix's mentor got murdered, but, uh, like, Apollo sent his own mentor to prison, and then his next case was for a Yakuza heir who is actively admitting to the crime at every opportunity. And he is getting no help from anyone. The closest thing to an assist he's gotten is Phoenix. Damn. Apollo's fucking screwed. He got it. He's fine. I, Damn, we, this boy deserves more attention. I will say, given, like, exempting the one uh, Japan moment this particular case has had, this has <laughs> been an excellent beginning to this game. <laughs> uh, I am, I am going to call it a stream here, so I'm going to throw up the... I'm going to save my progress. And holy shit. 
This was this has been something. Um. Uh. So. Uh. Yeah. That's yes. that's Apollo Justice. Uh, Witchy Clown. Thank you both for coming out. This has been. This is so much more fun with other people. Like I. <laughs> uh, I am terribly sorry Charlie was not with us, but hopefully, uh, we'll be able to have more of us around for the rest of this game. Uh, Indeed. but, uh, yeah. That's, that's all for now. Chat, thank you for joining me. Guys, thank you for joining me. Next week, Saturday, same time, uh, hopefully, we'll be back here for Apollo Justice, and on Wednesday next week, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be starting Yakuza Like a Dragon. We'll be beginning the Ichiban Saga. Uh, but until then, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I am Jay Tetsuka Rose, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya.